right across the United Kingdom. So I'm listening to the Conservative Party election results. To Tom, to Rob, uh, to Pretty, to Mel, to Kemi and to James. The candidates are being thanked. And took the scrutiny of their parliamentary colleagues. Pretty Patel. Media, and most importantly, Robert Jenrick. James Cleverly. Who are the others? Tom Tugendhat. And Kemi Badenoch. Have I missed somebody out? Don't think I have. Whoever is announced as our new leader needs our full support. We need to get. He's back milking out this one, by the way. Rebuild trust with the electorate and show that we're on the side of people who want to contribute to society and get on with their lives. This is a person speaking as a man called Richard Fuller. In making that. And he's definitely full of it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our final two candidates. For the leadership oh, there we are. of the Conservative and Unionist Party. We're delaying it. Kemi Badenoch and Robert Jenrick. Kemi Badenoch and Robert Jenrick. So Robert is glad handing people. Kemi is kissing people. Shame it's not the other way around. They're sitting next to each other. A display of friendship like Sulla. No, like Crassus and Pompey. And now I would like to introduce the returning officer, the chairman of the 1922 committee, Bob Blackman, to announce the result. And Blackman comes on to the stage. The stage has got a rather nice glow behind it, looking like the Northern Lights or like a tomato factory seen on a dark night. Well, thank you, Richard. And I think the whole party owes a debt of gratitude to you as party chairman since the general election. Lots of back slapping. When the party is so small, you have to make sure you we'll slap everybody. Not in a uh, Andrew, Mike Amesbury way. Of course, it's rather nice to see that Nigel Farage has been donning so boxing gloves. A devastating defeat on the 4th of July. And on the 5th of July, Rishi Sunak decided he would step down as party leader. When I was elected as chairman of the 1922 committee, I was determined that we would have an appropriate opportunity to rebuild our party, consider where we're going, and ensure that we had a broad... Not only considering where we're going, but considering leader. where we've been, is what he should have said. But no one so has actually let's have a short asked that question. Over and done with. Others said, let's have a long campaign. So there has been no attempt to address the question of why did the Conservatives and I think uh, face defeat at the last election? As a result of the what did they do wrong? Process, and indeed, the excellent party conference we had. We made party conference a really exciting uh, conference for representatives to attend. So when we decided to, the process to whittle down the number of candidates from six to four to send to the conference, that started obviously a, a process and ends today. Now, members obviously have been, had the opportunity to vote online and by postal ballot. Some people said they wanted the, the uh, debate and the, the opportunity for the new leader to address the budget that we knew was coming. Frankly, I wanted to make sure that Rishi got that chance to give that speech on Wednesday. And Rishi Sunak, to his credit, made a rousing speech on Wednesday, drawing a parallel between the what uh, Labour had promised during the election and campaign and what they delivered in the budget, budget from a the contrast that is our duty to replace as soon as possible. So I want to record my thanks to those hard-working and energy-crossing uh, candidates and also of course the team that have made this result possible today. So before I announce the result let me oh, for goodness the sake. party board, the National Union and all the party staff, in particular uh, Victoria Carslake, who will be leaving us um, after this particular event, to Civica Election Services for the professionalism they've shown in dealing with the ballots, in both distributing and collecting the votes, both online and by post. I'd also like to thank my Vice Chairman, Martin Vickers, and my Treasurer, Geoffrey Clifton Brown, my fellow officers of the 22 who enabled the parliamentary process to proceed smoothly, and indeed my parliamentary assistant Harriet 
Shoesmith, who uh, did all the work behind the scenes to make the ballots possible in Parliament. Uh, and finally, of course, I'd he's like smiling to at this moment, but he's getting no support at all. Give thanks to the party members. I was determined when we started this process that our party members would have the last word on who our leader should be, and they've done so. I'd like to thank Kemi and Robert for the way they've conducted themselves during this campaign. They've both been outstanding candidates and both worthy candidates to be leader of our great party. Now, the time that you've been waiting for, the result. <laughs> so I, Bob Blackman MP, Chairman of the 1922 Committee and therefore Returning Officer for the Conservative and Unionist Party at leadership election, declare that the total number of eligible electors was 131,680. The turnout in the election was 72.8%. The total number of votes rejected was 655. So quite a low turnout, quite a lot of because they spoiled were unmarked ballots. Void for uncertainty, and 45 ballot papers rejected because they voted for more than one candidate. <laughs> tough in a two-person election. <laughs> but anyway, the, the result was Kemi Badenoch, 53,806 votes, and Robert Jenrick, 41,000. So Kemi Badenoch, as expected, is the new leader of the Conservative Party, the new leader of His Majesty's loyal opposition. I, I trust you are as despairing as I am. She looks radiant and everyone is standing and Robert Jenrick is looking indulgent. She doesn't seem to have shaken his hand. She's got her back to him. He looks as if he could burst into tears, but he's maintaining a smile. Now the important bit. <laughs> Therefore, I give notice that Kebby Badenoch is elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. I welcome her to the stage. And it's great, isn't it great, that we've got another female leader And isn't it great that we're the first great party, the first party, to have a black leader of the party? Another glass ceiling shattered. <laughs> but I welcome Kemi to the stage. We can leave it there.